Okay, guys, we are not far away from boarding the plane to Bulgaria for the 11th country of the year. The gate is just literally over there. Right opposite a bar. This is probably the best gate I've ever had. We'll see you in Bulgaria. <laughs> <laughs> go on, go on. Oh, shoot, shoot. <laughs> Beautiful. Good morning from Sofia. It's a bit of a, just a bit similar to England weather. Actually, felt colder in England in the last few days. Good night. Met an American, met a couple of English guys. Hoping to go to the football tonight. Uh, massive game. Sofia Derby. Uh, the atmosphere should be electric. I've been to one game. I went to Belgrade Derby, and that was just one of the most insane things I've ever seen. So, ready to go. Yeah, that's how cool. I that one. Superb. Right. We have a Sofia Chris Market. Let's have a look. I wonder if we'll see Santa Claus. Then he'll be gutted, he'll be wanting to sit on Santa's lap, no doubt. A bit of relaxing uh, instrument first thing in the morning. This is the city garden. It looks absolutely gorgeous when it's sunny. Right, it kind of reminds me of Belgrade, the city doors, to be fair. The amphitheatre of Sadika was among the biggest in the eastern part of the Roman Empire and the largest in what is today Bulgaria. It lay outside the city of Wolves of Sadika and hosted fights between gladiators and wild beasts which were advertised in the entrance of the city. This was built on top of an earlier Roman theatre which was constructed in the second or the third century CE. It, its ruins were discovered five metres under the amphitheatre ruins. The remains were unearthed from 2010 to 2012 during construction of the metro. Okay guys, we are in a taxi. We're going to try and go to the Sofia match tonight. Derby match. I'm hoping to get a ticket. We'll see how it goes. Do you speak English? English? No? No. That's the job that's speak English. Great help. But, you know, we'll go. Hopefully, we can get into the game tonight. Kick off in about two hours' time. Let's see how we go. <laughs>
my I am here at the Sofia ground. Look at that for a background, man. I have no idea. There's loads of police around. This is epic, man. This is what dreams are made of. Superb. We'll try and get a ticket. Let's try and get a ticket. Okay, guys, we have got the ticket. We are going to the game, man. That was the most. I've had to get away. Such a tasty atmosphere. I've just been in a bar with God knows how many Bulgarian, well, Sophia's uh, ultras, Bulgarian ultras. Very, I was made to feel very welcome. No trouble whatsoever. I was very nervous. I was like on edge. I actually feel like the brummy Danny Dyer right now. Uh, there was definitely conversations had about me. Do you know what I mean? I couldn't film for obvious reasons if I got my camera out. Uh, you know, I, I probably got my face smashed in. It was very nerve-wracking. It was still kind of relaxing and enjoyable. But fucking hell, man. I've put myself out of my comfort zone in this one. But we've done it. The game's not even started yet. So let's go for it. Let's go for it. We'll have a cigarette. I'm not sure you can smoke in the stadium, but let's go for it. And let's see what tonight brings. Hey guys, this is the ultra for the uh, Slavia Sofia team. Absolutely fucking dead, bro. Here he is. Here's the main man. Have a good night, yeah. Uh, so we went to the game. You know, it was nothing special. I thought there'd be uh, a lot more people there. I tried to get to the uh, CSK uh, Sofia fans. Unfortunately, I was just sat on the merry merry go round. I went to an area that looked like their end. And, uh, and, and yeah, <laughs> the police were like, no, 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 you have to go all the way round. Then I tried another entrance and they're like, you have to go all the way round and I'm just walking around forever. And I don't think they wanted me to go in that end for whatever reason. Then I was on like 5% in the middle of like nowhere. If I, <laughs> if I lost my phone, I'd have been fucked. I want to have a clue how to get back. It's about a 25 minute journey from the hotel, the, the city. So I want to have a clue, which could have been fun. But I didn't fancy that. But tonight, I've always looked at these uh, pub crawls. You can buy them like for 10, 15 pound. You get a few free beers and you meet a bunch of solo travelers, maybe groups. I've never done one before. So tonight, I bought one. I bought the ticket for a pub crawl, and we're going to test. We're going to test it out tonight. See if this is worth doing in any other nations. Uh, yeah, normally I like to just drink on my own, like a sado, and go meet some people. But tonight will be very well different. Let's see what tonight brings us. Okay, guys, we we're really earlier. We decided to come back at night time to see the Christmas buzz. All hail Jesus Christ, bitches. We all seem to have a great time on our game. Must 
say the food looks absolutely amazing. The queues look horrendous though. Well. Excuse me, thank you. Hat. Oh, we'll leave, we'll leave. It looks amazing. That looks incredible, bro. Like, it was just hard to move in there. Fair play, like, a very busy, busiest part I've seen in my entire trip so far. The food looked absolutely amazing. I'm definitely getting some of that food over later or tomorrow, for sure. You gotta love Christmas time, even if you ain't got a family. There's a good uh, Christianity, Christianity spirit about the place, wherever you are in Europe. It's actually warm tonight, man. I was wishing uh, I probably didn't bring the fucking jacket. Oh, I just feeling the festive mood now, bro. That was nice, man. It was a nice experience. It was hard to move in there, though. Good singing. Right, let's go and find where we need to go for this uh, bar crawl. Okay guys, uh, we are in Sofia. It's Saturday night. Well, I found a German friend. What's your name, bro? Tell the audience your name. Yes, I'm called Daniel. Daniel, Daniel. It's not as good as Christo, is it? Yeah, we're you know? having a really good time here in Sofia. I know we are going to have some beers. Some beers, man, some beers. Yes, what Saturday do you think of Sofia? evening, very busy. What do you think of Sofia so far? I'm just here for the beers. Just here for the beers. This is typical German behavior, this is. <laughs> the English will never ever be like this. We don't. And you are much more worse than the German. No, we're not. Well, hey, this geezer, this is typical German behavior. All he thinks about is beers. All he thinks about culture and just experiencing the historic of Sofia. I, I met this guy at a football match here. So, and in this stadium was no beer, so he just left right, already this, at half time because this English guy could not survive without beer. I mean, come on. Does anyone watching this channel really believe the bullshit coming out of his mouth? <laughs> Do you really think I would leave a foot match for a beer? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bro, it's good to meet you, man. He's a top guy, man. He's a top guy. He's an absolute fucking top guy. From Dortmund, uh, near Dortmund, yeah? Yeah. Who's your Dortmund? Bloss Dortmund. Number one in Germany. Number one in Germany. Uh, I look. Who is the best player in Dortmund's history, recent history? Is he from Birmingham? I would say in the young history, yes. Yeah, what do you mean young history? Just take the whole entire of course, history. Of course, this club has some, some legends. Yeah, yeah. Just, I know you're talking about Jude and he has just been here absolutely. for a few years. So that doesn't make him a legend in Dortmund. He absolutely he's is a, a legend. Guy. You should have a statue of that guy. In Birmingham? But not in no, Dortmund. in Dortmund. Ah, with, no, with the no, burning no, city logo. Have, if he would have stayed in Dortmund, for sure. It's, where are we going, bro? You're leading the charge tonight. Yeah, I just have to check. I have to check. This is, you know, there's no organisation with these Germans. It's fucking Nazism all over again. We are perfectly on the right way. Hitler's number one supporter. <laughs> what, what, what the fuck is this? I've never seen beer like this. That's an actual beer. Cherry. What is it? Cherry. Amaretti. I'm going for. What's it, what are you going for? I think it's like a pancake. No beer. hot. A can't pan be sweet. pancake beer. Who wants to drink a pancake beer? This, this I'm going to drink a pancake beer. This is German <laughs> behavior. If I've ever saw one. <laughs> Okay, guys, we are here with a German guy, man. We just got uh, what, what's this called again, bro? 
What's this called? That is called uh, um, sour beer, and this sour style beer. is uh, like a blueberry pancake. Blueberry edition. pancake. Let's try. Let's try. Take, it, it take, take, take a second sip. Oh well. You need to get used to it. I couldn't understand why they called it the uh, the blueberry pancake. It's not for me. It's not for me. I wouldn't drink this all the time, but I'll give that. Uh, I'll give it a nice seven out of ten. It, it's quite actually nice, actually. It's actually quite nice. One more sip, yeah. <laughs> Very pancakeish, blueberry kind of top. Yeah, it's, yeah, more blueberry than pancake. Yeah, it's dominant. Dominant, yes, but um, the British, the English will keep with our actual. I'm sure it will also taste different than the typical lager. Because ah, I, fuck what, off. Which is number one? What is it? Well, yeah, wet hop pilsner. I think it will be maybe a bit fruity. It's beer. That's all. Well, try the beer. We'll try the beer on the same thing. Yeah, I'm going to try it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll give that a seven. Yeah, you're only used to the sheep shit, so now this Fuck is off. premium beer. This is premium beer. Don't worry it enough. Uh, you are talking bollocks. This is uh, this is all right. It's all right. This is about seven. Cheers. That's about seven. Cheers, bro. Mm. Peace out. There you go, mate. There you go. Keep rocking, bro. Keep rocking. Hello, people. It's a rainy Sunday here in Sofia. Feeling a bit worse for wear, obviously, last night. I kept up with the tradition. I believe I've lost my bank card now in every single country I've been. I was so close, yet yeah, so far. I'm keeping it. Uh, I don't, yeah, in the process. So, so we ever found it, went and held themselves to like 25 pounds worth of kebabs or whatever they bought from this shop. And then they try. Then they got another 36 pound, and then they kept trying to get money all night. But thankfully, my bank heroic because by the way I was in bed so I didn't even know so I didn't get to come sleep myself however my bank super bank uh, recognize unusual activity shall we say and blocked it for me so yeah bit of an expensive one lost like 60 pound in total but it could have been a lot more if my bank didn't shut it they would have bled me fucking dry, let me tell you. <clears throat> and they were trying from like, the first payment was like four o'clock in the morning. The last payment they tried to take was like 10 o'clock in the morning. Uh, and like, I looked at where, where these places were. It's like a 30 minute drive from where I'm staying. So, it is what it is. We've had a great time. Now we're gonna uh, look for the cathedral. There it is, the Alexander Nevsky Cathedral. Look how amazing that looks. Sound about the weather. Seems quite busy. Sunday service maybe. Gonna check it out. The Alexander Nevsky Cathedral, located at the heart of Bulgaria's capital city, is one of the largest Eastern Orthodox cathedrals in the world. It can hold up to 10,000 people. 
The cathedral construction began in 1892 but was not completed until 1912. It was named after the Russian prince Saint Alexander Nevsky. The church was built to honour those who sacrificed their lives during the Russo-Turkish War of 1877-1878, which liberated Bulgaria from the Ottoman Empire. Well, that was a massive, massive cathedral. You had to pay a uh, ten lev to take photos and videos in there. I walked in there with my camera and I just got moaned. I was like, oh no, no, you have to pay. You have to pay. I don't know, I think it's about three quid. First time I've ever had to do that, but oh well. Not in what's over, but there it is. Beautiful. Oh, that's going to try and find some food. Uh, look how sick this looks. If you weren't fucking tip it down around, I would have went in there. Try it out. Can I get, we'll go a little bit healthy. Can I get this backstreet burger, but no salad? No salad? No like salad. No tomato, no arugula? Yeah, none of that. No. Okay. Yeah? Okay. And, a, and a Coke, please. Okay. Thank you. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. The recording for my review of this delicious healthy burger and fries did not record but uh here is a picture of it um oh, delicious i would give that burger a nine yeah there was one thing that uh, pretty annoyed me it came with mustard i'm not a big fan of mustard but it was okay you know it wasn't loads um i do like some salad but i just couldn't be bothered to go through the rigmarole of this is what i don't want i just thought better off saying no salad completely uh the, the fries were absolutely delicious so nice and salty again it came with no ketchup so i had to ask for ketchup which is no issue at all you know i don't mind asking being polite uh they will get a, a seven burger out of this world stunning it cost probably nine ten pound um very very cheap really considering you're in the capital uh in a nice you know pub slash restaurant i guess but it's very nice Alright, there we go. Um, Alright guys, I have literally 8 hours to my next flight. My man here has just got me a rakia. The last time I had a rakia, I'm not even going to go there, bitch. I'm not even going to go there. But you know, it's the last night in Sofia, so let's try it. Cheers, brother. Let's hope I get my phone. Let's hope I get the flight in time. Oh, shit, I, I didn't press film. Fuck, I didn't press film. Sorry, yeah. mate. No. Hi, guys. We are here with Will. Hey, hi. Hey. hey. So this guy is an absolute fucking legend. If you could hear the stories, this is why I need he hates a go me. He fucking hates Fuck me. off, bro. I need an actual GoPro to film the stories I hear. I so know you're not going to repeat them all again, but come on, come on. Well, keep going. I love it. Well, love it. come on. Best country you've been to so Chris, far? Chris, the best bloke in the world. Right? And, well, we know that. Where are we going? Where are we going? Uh, oh, fuck it. Who cares? No, we're going to this rock and roll place you sold me of it. We're going to the rock and roll place. One pound twenty a beer. One pound twenty a beer. Yeah, it was. It there was. you go. Cheap as nails. Week, last week. <laughs> Last week, oh, so it might be one forty nine. Bulgaria, it I, changes. It does, well, to be fair. Everyone's drinking it now as well. Look at them. Film them. Film them. Film them. Film them. Turn around and film them. <laughs> anyway, let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this. Go on, go on, go on. This bloke's a decent guy, right? Legend. He knows. He knows him. We're, we're here having a good time in fucking Bulgaria, Balkans. Sofia, Sofia. Doesn't really matter. All right, come on, answer right, the question. No. Best question, uh, best country you've been to so far? Or if, in if, this region? Or no, anywhere. anywhere. Anywhere in the world you've been to? Uh, Georgia. 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 But, but I would, what I would say is in, in this region, Bulgaria, 100% Bulgaria. Well, because we're, we're in Bulgaria. No, no, not at all. Not at all. <laughs> and, uh, I'll be honest with you. Uh, I'm going on women, I'm going on women. 
Alright, bro, bro, bro. So, so alright, top three countries. If you were to um, say to anyone watching in England, yeah, the top three countries to go to, where would you pick? Georgia's obviously one of them, yeah? Alright, Georgia's my number one. Yeah. Right? Why? Because you... oh, I meet people like you, you fucking weirdo. But I'm not in Georgia, bro! I'm not in Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I meet people like you, you weirdo. <laughs> I'm just a nice guy that never loses me a bank card. Oh, he's a cheeky old bastard. He's a cheeky bastard. You're an idiot, right? You're an idiot. Yeah, I'm a fucking, pr I'm a fucking proud idiot, bro. No, I love, I love Georgia, right? Basically, <laughs> it's all about... Go on, go on, go on. Right, nothing should ever work. Nothing should work in Georgia. Nothing. Mm. Like, buses, trains. You get on a train, you're thinking, fuck, you know. How the fuck do you get on? You get on there, you fall asleep, you hope. You just like, yeah. end up somewhere. It's all right. You end yeah. up in the place you're meant to go, and all of a sudden, everyone jolly and I don't know, fucking having a bit of a laugh, and all of a sudden, you know. what's the food like in Georgia? The food? Me, mate. The food is it the best fucking food? Banging the best food you ever. Really? Ah, yeah. right, go on, go on, go on. Second country after uh, Georgia. No, no, best food in your ever fucking having your life. Ah, right, no, no, no. What's 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 after Georgia? We want three top countries. Georgia's the best food. I'm gonna go Serbia. I'm gonna go Serbia, my number one. Give me the fucking phone. Go on, Georgia's number one, go on. See this guy? This guy in the fucking world. He's fucking ledge. Fact, facts, facts. And this is Georgia. Right? Either Georgia. way, Just let's go to the fucking, let's all just go to Georgia and have a fucking laugh. Yeah, but we gotta, we gotta have your three top countries. Georgia's one of them. Fucking hell. Bro, come on. Georgia, number one country to visit. Number two. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll get it. Georgia's fucking best fucking country. It's obsessed right? with Georgia. No, no, hang on a minute. Listen. Right. You've got mountains. Yeah. You've got right. cheesy food. you got... Right, I went to... Go on, bro. Kick it, kick right, it, right, bro. Right. Come on. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> not even that, not even that, right? Okay, it's like 4.20 in the morning here at Sofia Airport. We are on the way home, 11th country complete. Bit gutted because of, uh, I've only got a few holidays left. I, uh, obviously, I've done 11 countries this year. Very good achievement so far. I, I couldn't book more time off to see more of Bulgaria. There's a few places I really wanted to go. It was only a long weekend, but absolutely enjoyed it. Surprisingly, I met quite a lot of English. I didn't realise a lot of English people come here, like uh, considering all the other Eastern, uh, um, Eastern Europe countries I've been to. Don't really see many English, but here I saw quite a lot, actually. I met quite a lot. Great people as well. The, the Bulgarian hospitality was good. Yeah, I'd definitely come back. Um, obviously, I've seen Sofia now. I think I'd go somewhere else. In Bulgaria, if I was to come back, but I've already enjoyed it. Uh, my flight is at 6 a.m. I've not been to sleep, but it's been an absolutely brilliant journey. Thank you to everyone I've met. Thank you to the subscribers I've met along the way, the new subscribers. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. We'll see you in the 12th country very soon. Peace out.